Oh, that is so much better. Let them know, B. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, we're doing a little, haven't used these in a while, haven't used these on camera, you saw me haul it, but what do I think video? I don't know what the name of that is, I'll figure it out. But I'm just using some products that I've either used off camera and haven't shown you guys or haven't used in a while and I just wanted you guys to see the products and get my feedback on it so you know if you want to buy it or not. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, again, thanks for clicking on my video and I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I upload videos twice a week. Your girl likes to shop. So we do hauls, tutorials, reviews, mostly beauty content with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So if you wanna see how I got this look and you know what palette I used, stay tuned and keep on watching. All right guys, we're gonna start off using some products that I don't think I've used on my channel before. These are products that you've seen me haul and I haven't used them yet. I'm sure I have a lot of products like that because I have been filming a lot of hauls. So I'm going to try to get these in and give you guys some feedback on what I think about the products instead of just buying them and sticking them in a drawer or buying them and using them off camera. My face is already primed. I use my Becca primer so don't need to show that. I am gonna start off with the eyes today because I'm using a new palette. This is the Patrick Star One Size Visionary Eyeshadow Palette. I told you guys that I bought this by accident. I wanted it, but I didn't want it. And the next thing you know, it showed up in my Sephora order. This is what the palette looks like. I think it's beautiful. I just felt like, you know, I probably had most of these colors anyway, so I didn't need to get it. But the blue and the olive, those were screaming to me whenever I saw this palette. So I'm not mad that I got it because every time I want to do just a quick get out the house look, I've been using Booked, Brownie, and Mango, and Manila Sands and just like popping those on my lid fast, blending them out and going. So I like the palette a lot and I'm glad that I got it. Did I need it? No, but that's neither here nor there. I went ahead and primed my lids with my P. Louise Makeup Base in Rumor 02. And then I'm not going to set it. I'm just going to go in and I am going to start with Taupe of My Game. And I'm just going to put that lightly to help set. Next, I'm going to go in with Booked and just bring that down a little lower. This is such a pretty transition color. And I feel like all these shadows blend together really well. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush and I'm going to go more into the crease with Brownie trying to decide if I'm going to do a cut crease or not. I kind of don't want to, but I really want to see what that blue shadow looks like and I want to make sure it pops. So I might. And then just going back around the edges. I'm going to cut my crease real quick and then I'll be back. I know you guys have seen this enough. You don't need to see it again. All right, for our lid colors, we are going to play in Rebel Gray and this blue called Blue Mon Dieu. I just have to. I have not used these yet, and I just want to see how pigmented they are going to be. So I'm going to start start with rebel gray and we're going to work that on the inner part and then move out to the blue that's what i see in my head i'm not wetting my brush i'm just going to pack this on the lid 
me see if it does better with my finger. Oh yeah, much better. I know some people probably think it's blasphemy, but I'm going to use my Milani Make It Last spray because I don't like spraying this on my face at all. It is too harsh of a sprayer. So, yeah. Gotta use it for something and it ain't gonna be my face. I still think it comes off better with your finger though. I feel like trying to pack, maybe I just need to try a different brush. Let me try that. I still think it's better with my finger, so I don't know if it's that it's better or it's just faster, but we ain't got all day to be playing with a brush, so I'll just use the brush for the part that needs to be a little more detailed and then my finger for the lid. So that's what we have so far. And then I am going to take a smaller brush that's a little denser and I'm gonna pack the blue towards the middle and go to the outer V. That is very pigmented. It is picking up a lot. I think that's a nice little gradient. I'm gonna blend it a little more, but I feel like this blue is coming off a little more navy than it is like this royal blue that it shows in the pan. Not a bad, bad thing, just not quite what I was expecting. I think the colors look good together. I just would have liked a little more vibrancy from the blue because when you swatch it, it looks like this. But that is not, come on camera, there you go. That is not what this is looking like on my eye. And I'm terrified, I don't wanna mess up my, see even that's better with my finger. That's what I was trying to see. I don't know, I guess. I don't know if I'm using the wrong brushes or what, but I don't normally have this problem, so I don't want to blame it on my brushes. I'm kind of old school. I'm the type that I feel like if a shadow is good, you should be able to use any kind of brush with it, unless it specifically says like wet dry or whatever, like I shouldn't have to buy special brushes just to make this work. But that's just me. I also don't like to spend a lot of money on brushes. So we've built that up about as much as it's going to go without me using my finger. I'm going to take an even smaller brush and do a little bit of the black. Just a tad to deepen up this outer V. I didn't use my tape, but I'm just going to clean up the edges with my makeup wipe. And then I'm just gonna blend back around the edge with Booked. And that's it, I'm gonna clean up the edges and then we're gonna move on to the rest of my face. For foundation today, I'm using my Milk Makeup Blur Liquid. This is a matte 
foundation. This is in the shade Cinnamon. I'm going to try finally my Urban Decay Drop Shot Mix In Facial Oil. I have not used this yet. So because we are using a matte foundation, I just want to see how that is going to look. So we are still having issues. Not as bad as it was, but my skin is definitely still dry. So I just put a little bit of foundation on the back of my lashes and I'm going to do, this is a big dropper. So we're just going to do, I don't know if I want a whole drop. Well, that's what I got. We'll start with one drop. I'm going to mix that up. I bought this shade during the summer, so hopefully it works. What's crazy is all this time I've been using this shade as like a shade reference when I'm trying to find other foundations. And I don't know why I thought I had the shade Toffee. So that's what I've been trying to match everything to. But this looks like it'll be good. Never, ever, ever did I think I would be a girl that added oil to a foundation. Look at me now. I don't definitely like how the finish of it looks. I don't remember, honestly, using it by itself to say if I like the finish of it, how it was as a matte foundation, but I ain't mad at these little drops. I could change the game for stuff I have in my drawer that I said I wasn't going to be able to wear anymore. So that is definitely exciting. Okay. And I'm sure there's other companies that have had products like that. I think I was just intrigued by that one because it specifically said mix in. First time trying something like that, I want to use something <laughs> that's like no fail or hey, use this for this, you know? For concealer, I'm going to use my Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue. I don't remember if I've used this before, so I wanted to make sure to let you guys see what it looked like. This is in the shade Dark 21. I remember talking about it, saying I thought it was going to be too light when I hauled it, but I feel like no matter how light I go with my concealer, it still never looks like I'm super highlighted underneath my eyes I don't know I definitely thought this was too light and it is not I don't know why I'm not trying to be negative but I feel like I'm gonna need another layer of this like it's more like a medium coverage versus a full I'm just so in love with my Kylie and my Pat McGrath and my Boeing concealers that I don't, I feel like everything else I'm like, eh, not enough coverage. Eh, this one's not that great. Actually, this ain't too bad. I take that back. <laughs> I don't know if this formula is thinner, but I don't normally have like a lot of streaking like I'm having right now whenever I put on concealer. So this is a little different. It ain't picking up off my nose like it normally does. I like the finish of this. I feel like, I don't know, I didn't read the claims. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. I don't know if this is supposed to be matte or full coverage or what, but I like how it looks. And then I also have Patrick's One Size Powder, which I have not even opened yet. So I do wanna use that today just to use something new. And this is just a white translucent powder. The component on this is definitely interesting. There's only this slant in the middle where the powder comes out. I don't know why I thought this was supposed to like twist or something, almost broke it. But let's see. I did not get his little puff thing. I never use those. But I just want to set this before it settles into my wrinkles. Definitely has a brightening effect. I don't feel like it feels heavy or 
cakey or anything like that. Definitely did a good job of setting everything. I'm just gonna take a smaller brush and get in the corners here. And I'm just gonna press this in. I don't feel like I need to like dust it off because it doesn't feel heavy. But she is matte for sure. As you can tell the difference from where I set and where I didn't, the shine. All right, for bronzer, we have the Beauty Bakery Brownie Bar Palette. And this is what this looks like. I showed this to you before when I used Beauty Bakery, but I actually had the Neapolitan Bar, I think, and I brought it back because it was too light, and I got this one. So, again, I don't remember if I've used it, so we're going to use this to contour and bronze. That shade is dark. Love how bronzer makes everything look. And then I'm going to use this is that gonna go? I don't know if that's gonna go. I'm gonna take a little bit of this orange shade and kind of see if I can just maybe bronze and blush with it. I realized that the reason why I always set my face is because I just wanna make sure that everything blends together well. And sometimes if it's still too liquid like it's not set on this side then my bronzer will kind of catch and it'll look a little patchy i think this is okay but just in general i try to be aware of that i could use the highlighter in here but i want to use something different i haven't used this in forever this is my becca shimmering skin perfector in champagne pop and this is what it looks like clearly i have not used this a lot so i felt like it was time to bring it out and we all know Becca's highlighters. I probably should have went with a cooler toned one, but we gonna make it work. That is so pretty. I must say you can't even see that. I don't see it. I see it on camera, but I don't see it on my face, which is weird. It's probably how I get in trouble using too much highlighter. <laughs> is there such a thing? adds more okay and now I'm just going to use my bronzer brush and just blend everything together y'all know I feel like I need some more blush but we're gonna try to roll with it so now to finish up the bottom lash line I'm just gonna go in with that blue and see if I can get it to pop more because I just, I don't know, I'm kind of a little disappointed. I don't want a navy blue. I want the blue that looks like the pan. And that looks like when I have it on my finger. And I'm just going in with Rebel Gray and putting that on the inner third. Like that doesn't look anything like that. Nothing. I don't think so. Sigh. All right. Well, I mean, it's still pretty. It's just not what I expected. All right. I'm not going to bore you guys with the rest of my eyes. I'm going to do my balm swing liner. I'm going to put some mascara on. I'm going to put some lashes on and then we're going to move on to the lips and that is going to be it. All right, we are back with some big old lashes. I don't know what lashes these are because I just saved them like this. So these are big and I had a little trouble getting them on, but I think we're all right. I have decided I'm going to put on blush. Y'all know I love blush. I don't know who I was clowning trying to say I wasn't going to put on any blush, but not going to happen. So I'm going to use my Physician's Formula Butter Blush. 
This is in the shade Saucy Mauve. It doesn't have a lot of color. It's more of a sheen. So we're just going to use that. Just add a little bit of... Yeah, see? Don't you tell me that don't look better. I just feel naked without it. Oh, that is so much better. Let them know, B. All right. Now I feel like myself. To finish this look off, we are going to use the Minted Bare Lip Pencil that I picked up from Target. I have not used these yet. Very creamy formula. I like this a lot. And I like that it's a bear for us because normally if a company says their lipstick is a bear, then it looks like chalk. It still has warmth to it. And then we are going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Starfish Liquid Lipstick, which is a neutral kind of brown. I'll just swatch it for you guys. So just wanted to keep the lips a little nude because this eye look is very bold. And then we are going to put some gloss on this because lords. I'm going to use my NARS, uh, what is this called? Oil infused lip tint in the shade Reef. Look how much that dried down already. My lips are dry. And that is better. All right, guys. So this is it for the final look. I love how this turned out. I mean, it's not often that I'd sit down to do my makeup and I hate it. I have gotten really good at figuring out, like, if something doesn't work well, what I need to do to try to fix it. So... For me, it's kind of like I can always kind of pull it together unless the product's just really bad. Quick little recap. The eyeshadow palette is good, but I just don't feel like the colors show as vibrant as they do on swatches or in the pan. So that is my biggest gripe. Like this don't look like what I have on my eyes. This, the Rebel Gray does the lid color, but other than that, I don't know. I just, I expected a little more punch from it and I didn't get it. I need to play with the olive color because that's another reason I got the palette. So if that doesn't look that great either, then it's going to be kind of disappointing. I'm still going to use it. Like I said, I've been using it, but I just didn't dip into these colors. So palette is, oh, palette is good. I'm just glad I got it on sale. As far as everything else, I don't think there was... Mm, I mean, everything else was good. There was nothing that I was just like, eh, about the brownie bar palette. I like it. I definitely like that this contour shade is deep enough. If I was wearing a warmer toned look, I would use this as a blush. No question. I could use this whole palette. Love it. Glad that it comes in a deep enough tone. I like the concealer. I do feel like my face is very matte and I did use a setting spray so I'm going to I'm still going to use it and I probably would have ended up putting in putting on another layer but I didn't feel like I needed to today I just felt like the way it blended out I feel like I can still see a little bit of darkness here so I, sh I probably would use another layer next time but that's about it for the recap I like this blush a lot may end up in my favorites i need to use it some more because at first i thought it didn't show up but now i mean clearly you can see it and my cheeks look very glowy love it so anyway that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it comment below let me know what you think about the eyeshadow what you think about the look i'd love to hear from you guys again if you're new here we'd love it if you stayed so please hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video bye